Hey everyone, so there's a verse from the Bible um, that talks about what we're going through um, or that goes hand in hand rather with coronavirus. So um, I'll go right straight into it. But before that, I just want to say a prayer. Can we please close our eyes? And um, I'll start this by praying. Thank you so much for being with us, keeping us safe, guiding and protecting us. I pray, Samantha, that in this difficult time that we faced with, um, with the coronavirus affecting millions and millions of people and thousands of people around the world, you keep us safe, you guide and protect us, love ever affected by it. I pray, Samantha, was he, they can be able to recover. And I pray, was he, love ever affected by it, yet, Samantha, in ever affected Samantha in any way. I pray that you open our eyes to, you know, whatever wrong that we've done or whatever we need to fix the mistakes that we need to fix and i pray that we rectify them samandla and live according to your will i pray with you organize your socialism and the citizens and and i pray samandla with your holy spirit takes control in our communities our families um each and every single country and each and every single individual around the world and the doctors that are working day in day out samandla to find a cure for this virus, Samantha, in your holy name, we ask, we pray, we call upon you, and we say, take control, Jesus. Amen. The book is Isaiah 26, verse 20. It says, go home, my people, and lock your doors. Hide yourselves for a little while until the Lord's anger has passed. So here you go, guys. Isaiah 26, verse 20 talks about quarantine. Um, you can, you know, um, visit, you know, that verse from your Bible. Um, read it thoroughly. I just read it for you guys. And I hope we can now realize how, you know, serious coronavirus is and, you know, the seriousness that we are in, you know, um, at this particular moment. Now, we know that Idris Alba also spoke Briefly about it. Um, I took this whole Oprah drama. Winfrey, is that we uh, are forced to um, get together to as a as a, as a race. You know, we, we really are. You know, as a human race. As a human race, race yeah. But you know, also our world has been taking a kick in. You know, we've damaged our world, and you know. It's, it's no it's surprise Please don't that to subscribe. our Copy world is reacting like, share this to video. the human race. And, it's um, no surprise that a virus has been created to, that is going to um, slow us down and ultimately you know, make us think differently about our world point. and Thank ourselves. So that's like a real, for me, that's a standout thing that's very obvious that this is almost like the world's cry out to like, hey, 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 you're kicking me, you know, and what you're doing is not good. So... I'll get rid of you, as any 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 organism would do, is try and get rid of an infection. And maybe this is it for the world, so. Yeah, I think it's important as we are all trying to deal with the pragmatic, and that's one of the reasons I wanted to do this with Apple, is to talk to people like yourselves who can bring a, 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 a broader insight, because I think we all lose as human beings if we just think of this as a physical virus. I think it's, it's exactly what you just said, that it's here to teach us, show us something about ourselves as individuals and also as a world of people. And this is a mo moment for our humanity to either rise or not.